Hello everyone, I'm going to make this intro nice and short because you know why you're here. There are hundreds of Cartoon Network shows, but today I'm going over only the original series. These shows are made by Cartoon Network for Cartoon Network. I'm also going to throw in the shows made by Warner Brothers for Cartoon Network. What will not be on this list are shows that were made by other studios and aired on multiple networks. So, if I don't mention one of your favorite shows, it's probably because it wasn't designated directly for Cartoon Network or I'm just an idiot and missed it. Even though I'm only going over a fragment of all the shows, there's still over a hundred to list. So I will be giving just the briefest of synopses. I will also like to apologize. I like to show footage of the show while I'm talking about it, but getting footage of a hundred shows is a lot of storage space and my 1995 IBM ThinkPad can't handle that. The Moxie Show, 1993 to 2000. The first ever Cartoon Network show and one of the first ever motion capture shows. It was an anthology show starring Moxie and his friend Flea. Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, 1994 to 2001. Using the Space Ghost character from his Hanna-Barbera cartoon, this show is a parody of talk shows. This cartoon was geared towards adults, and as a result started the Adult Swim Network. What a Cartoon, 1995 to 2002. An anthology show where every episode is made up of three seven-minute short animations. Every seven-minute short featured new characters and new stories. Some of these shorts ended up getting their own shows like Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, The Powerpuff Girls, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Another short called Larry and Steve were prototype characters for what would become Family Guy. Dexter's Laboratory, 1996 to 2003. Dexter is a boy genius and has an entire lab inside his room, unbeknownst to his parents. He has an annoying sister, Dee Dee, that always ends up foiling his experiments. Johnny Bravo, 1997 to 2004. Another show to come out of What a Cartoon. Johnny Bravo is a combination of Elvis Presley and James Dean, and the show centers around him trying to get girls, but always fails due to his actions. Cow and Chicken, 1997 to 1999. Two biological siblings, Cow and Chicken, go on surreal adventures and get antagonized by the Red Guy, a parody of the devil. I Am Weasel, 1997 to 1999. This show follows I Am Weasel, a noble and successful weasel, and his frenemy, I R Baboon, an idiot that is envious of Weasel. They are also antagonized by the Red Guy, so this show is set in the same universe as Cow and Chicken. The Powerpuff Girls, 1998 to 2005. Professor X accidentally makes three girls with superpowers. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. They are kindergartners and fight crime, including against the evil Mojo Jojo. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, 1999 to 2009. Three boys, all sharing the same name, live in a subdivision with tons of wacky friends. Eddie often develops ways to get their friends to buy jawbreakers. It usually never works out though. Mike, Lou, and Og, 1999 to 2001. Three kids are on a deserted island. Mike and Lou were shipwrecked there and Og is a native. Mike and Lou's people learn to live with Og's people. Courage the Cowardly Dog, 1999 to 2002. Courage is an easily frightened dog owned by an elderly couple. The three of them often encounter monsters and supernatural creatures. Sheep in the Big City, 2000 to 2002. Sheep was living a peaceful farm life until a secret military organization comes looking for him for their sheep-powered ray gun. So Sheep moves to the big city and hides from them. Time Squad, 2001 to 2003. The show takes place many, many years in the future. The Time Squad is comprised of a robot, a boy, and a brawny cop. These three travel back in time to correct historical events. Samurai Jack, 2001 to 2004 and 2017. Samurai Jack is determined to free his town after the demon Aku takes it over. However, right before he makes the final blow, he is sent forward in time to a dystopian future. Samurai Jack spends the series trying to make it back to his time. The show originally ran for four seasons without a proper conclusion until it was revived 12 years later and ended with the fifth season. Grim and Evil, 2001 to 2003. This show is made up of two segments, the first one being about Grim, who is the Grim Reaper, and a servant to two children after losing a limbo competition. The other segment is about Evil Con Carne, an evil scientist's brain put inside a dim-witted bear. Justice League, 2001 to 2004. You know the Justice League. All those DC superheroes, they fight bad guys. Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, 2002 to 2003. Robot Jones is a robot boy that lives the regular teenage lifestyle. Codename Kids Next Door, 2002 to 2008. A group of five kids that run a secret high-tech treehouse and fight against tyranny. They are Sector 5 of an organization called Kids Next Door. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, 2003 to 2008. The Grim and Evil show is split in two, and this is the grim part. Evil Con Carne, 2003 to 2004. And this is the other half of the split. This is the evil part. Star Wars Clone Wars, 2003 to 2006. This is the Clone Wars before the Clone Wars. The show takes place right after the events of Star Wars Episode II, predominantly featuring the prequel era Jedi and the clones. 
This show basically serves as a pilot for the 2008 CGI Clone Wars series. And because of Disney, this show is no longer canon. The Cramp Twins, 2003 to 2006. Two twins, Wayne and Lucian Cramp, for some reason, one of them is blue. They hate each other, but they still find themselves in predicaments together. Teen Titans, 2003 to 2006. Robin, Raven, Starfire, Cyborg, and Beast Boy from the Teen Titans. And they fight bad guys. <coughs> Duck Dodgers, 2004 to 2006. Based on the 50s cartoon featuring Daffy and Gang, this show takes a bunch of Looney Tunes characters and makes them sci-fi. Mega's XLR, 2004 to 2006. Two teens find a robot from the future called Megas. They replace his control center with a muscle car and name him XLR, Extra Large Robot. From there, they defend Earth from an alien race. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, 2004 to 2009. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends is a foster home for imaginary friends that have been abandoned by their kids. Blue is one of those imaginary friends, and Mac, his kid, doesn't want to forget him, so Mac often visits him. Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi, 2004 to 2006. Puffy Ami Yumi is a real life Japanese pop rock group that have been fictionalized and animated in this show. Baby Looney Tunes, 2004 to 2006. Bugs, Daffy, Lola, Taz, Sylvester, and Tweety, but they're babies. Justice League Unlimited, 2004 to 2007. A continuation of Justice League, they still fight bad guys. The Batman, 2004 to 2006. Another continuation of Justice League, but now more focused on Batman. The Life and Times of Juniper Lee, 2005 to 2007. Juniper's hometown is filled with magical creatures, both good and evil, and Juniper has the ability to communicate with them and fight them if need be. Camp Laszlo, 2005 to 2008. Laszlo goes to a summer camp with two of his friends. He and his fellow scouts go on scout-like activities. Sunday Pants, 2005. Basically a sequel to What a Cartoon. My Gym Partner is a Monkey, 2005 to 2008. After a mistaken filing, Adam Lyon, spelled L-Y-O-N, is put into a school full of animals and befriends Jake Spider Monkey, a monkey, and he is his gym partner. Ben 10, 2005 to 2008. Ben Tennyson gets a watch-like alien device that allows him to turn into 10 different alien creatures with all kinds of abilities. With his grandpa and cousin, he fights evil from Earth and space. Robot Boy, 2005 to 2008. Created by a scientist, Robot Boy has three modes, each more powerful than the last. While he tries to live a normal boy life, he has to switch modes to fight off evil hunting him down. Crypto the Superdog, 2005 to 2009. This is about Bitcoin. Wait, wrong crypto. It's basically Superman, but as a dog. He lives a normal dog life, but he is also a superhero dog. Firehouse Tales, 2005 to 2006. Three talking fire trucks attend firefighting school. Squirrel Boy, 2006 to 2007. The super stereotypical boy has a talking animal friend. It feels like I've already read this plot five times now. Class of 3000, 2006 to 2008. A superstar music teacher teaches the performing arts at a school. Chowder, 2007 to 2010. Chowder, who is a rabbit-like animal, is apprenticing under Mung Dal, a professional caterer. There's also Schnitzel, the Rada Rada guy. Chowder often finds himself in rather weird circumstances. Transformers Animated, 2007 to 2009. Need I say more than what the title already says? Ben 10, Alien Force, 2008 to 2009. Ben 10, but he's slightly older this time. The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, 2008 to 2010. The weirdest and freakiest show, Flapjack, a super young boy, his whale mother, and Captain Knuckles live in a dangerous city, and they're all constantly on the search for candy. The Secret Saturdays, 2008 to 2010. The Saturdays, a family of cryptozoologists work with cryptids and ensure they don't get out to protect society. Chopsaki Chooks, 2008. These guys are a trio of kung fu fighting chickens who live and work in a city-sized shopping mall. These things don't look like chickens. Batman, the brave and the bold. Again, Batman and fellow good guys fight the bad guys. Ben 10, Ultimate Alien, 2010 to 2012. Ben 10, again, for the third time. Generation Rex, 2010 to 2013. Rex isn't the ordinary teen. He can grow machines out of his body. Symbionic Titan, 2010 to 2011. Two aliens and a robot come to Earth and combine themselves to become the Symbionic Titan. Once on Earth, the three pose as high school students until they have to fight evil. Robotomy, 2010 to 2011. Two robots, Thrasher and Blastus, live on a robot-inhabited planet where anarchy is promoted. They just try to make it through high school without getting killed. Hero 108, 
2010 to 2012. For many years, the humans and animals lived in harmony until an evil trickster convinced the animals that the humans were their enemy. Adventure Time, 2010 to 2018. I mean, you must have heard of this one, right? Finn and Jake live in the land of Ooh and tons of fantasy adventures, from rescuing Princess Bubblegum to beating the Ice King. This one is one of the most successful cartoons on this list. Regular Show, 2010 to 2017. And back to back, arguably the other most well-known show, at least for the modern ones, Mordecai and Rigby work as groundskeepers for a park. Their co-workers consist of Skips, Muscle Man, High Five Ghosts, and Pops. They all work under their boss, Benson, a gumball machine. Mordecai and Rigby will pretty much do anything to get out of work, which leads to many surrealistic adventures. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, 2010 to 2014. It's Scooby-Doo, but newer. Mad, 2010 to 2014. Inspired by Mad Magazine, each episode is composed of shorts parodying TV shows, movies, video games, celebrities, etc. It also has a unique art style, using multiple different mediums like CGI, claymation, and stop motion. Basically like a kid version of Robot Chicken. Young Justice, 2010 to 2013. More superhero stuff. I guess people don't get tired of it. The Problem Solvers, 2011 to 2013. This show is disgusting, I refuse to talk more about it. Secret Mountain for Awesome, 2011 to 2012. Same goes for this one. It should have never been made. I refuse to talk further. The Amazing World of Gumball, 2011 to 2019. This show stars Gumball, a blue cat, and his adoptive fish brother Darwin. Most episodes feature them going to their school full of wacky characters. The show combines multiple different animation styles using regular 2D, CG animation, claymation, and more, giving a very unique feel to the show. The Looney Tunes Show, 2011 to 2015. Again, just like Scooby-Doo, it's old Looney Tunes, but new. Thundercats. 2011 to 2012. A reboot of the 1980s series. Pretty much it. DC Nation Shorts, 2011 to 2014. Again, the name says it all. It's like a shorts compilation show, but all the shorts are about DC superheroes. Ben 10 Omniverse, 2012 to 2014. Ben 10, but for the fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever time it is. Green Lantern, the animated series, 2012 to 2014. Another superhero show, but this time, Green Lantern. Uncle Grandpa, 2013 to 2017. Probably one of the most hated shows, Uncle Grandpa is everyone's uncle and grandpa. He goes around with his wacky group of friends, helping everyone in need. He's basically a Santa-like figure helping everyone. Steven Universe, 2013 to 2019. The show follows Steven, who lives with the Crystal Gems, mineral-based aliens. Steven is half-gem and goes on many adventures with other gems, and they protect Earth from their own kind. Teen Titans Go, 2013 to present. Get this. Teen Titans, again, but worse, and more hated, and milked. Beware the Batman, 2013. It's more Batman. Mixels, 2014 to 2016. Mixels are creatures that can combine with each other to become larger creatures. They are opposed by the evil Nixels. Clarence, 2014 to 2018. This series focuses on the daily life of Clarence and his two friends, Jeff and Sumo. The Tom and Jerry Show, 2014 to present. Hear me out. It's like old Tom and Jerry, but new. We Bear Bears. 2015 to 2019. This show follows the adventures of three adoptive bear brothers, a polar bear, a panda bear, and a grizzly bear. Be cool, Scooby-Doo, 2015 to 2016. Scooby-Doo again, but with worse animation. <coughs> the Powerpuff Girls reboot, 2016 to 2019. Powerpuff Girls, but again. Mighty Magiswords, 2016 to 2019. This pretty much forgotten show was about a pair of clumsy siblings who were warriors for hire. They go on quests to find magical swords called Magiswords. Wabbit, 2016 to present. Looney Tunes, but it looks weirder. Banicula, 2016 and 2018. Loosely based on the book series, Banicula is a vampire rabbit that drinks carrot juice instead of blood. Justice League Action, 2016 to 2018. To no one's surprise, more superheroes. Ben 10, 2017 to 2021. Oh my god, more Ben 10. OK KO Let's Be Heroes, 2017 to 2019. This show is set in a retro future. The main character, KO, works in a bodega, all the while trying to become the greatest hero ever. Apple and Onion, 2018 to 2021. A talking apple and a talking onion go on food-like adventures. Summer Camp Island, 2018 to 2023. Oscar and Hedgehog are dumped off at a summer camp which is on an island. I'm not going further than that. Sounds like a Camp Laszlo ripoff. Craig of the Creek, 2018 to present. Craig and his two friends have fun down by the creek. The creek is basically a kid utopia run by tribes of children. So basically Lord of the Flies. Unikitty, 2018 to 2020. A spin-off of the Lego movies, Unikitty, ruler of the Unikingdom, has many adventures with Princess Puppycorn, Dr. Fox, 
Hawkadile, and Richard. Victor and Valentino, 2019 to 2022. Victor and Valentino are two half-brothers who deal with supernatural beings from the Aztec, Olmec, and Mayan mythologies. Mau Mau, Heroes of Pure Heart, 2019 to 2020. Mau Mau is a cat who wants to go out and adventure. On one of the adventures, he befriends a cyborg badger and a bat named Adorabat. Infinity Train, 2019 to 2020. I'm just gonna quote this from the wiki because I can't believe this is a cartoon for kids. The series is set on a gigantic, mysterious, and seemingly endless train traveling through a barren landscape whose cars contain a variety of bizarre, fantastical, and impossible environments. Passengers on the train proceed from car to car by completing challenges, which help them resolve their psychological trauma and emotional issues. Yeah, kinda deep for a kid's show. Steven Universe Future. 2019 to 2020. Basically an epilogue for Steven Universe. DC Superhero Girls, 2019 to present. Another superhero show, but no men allowed. Thundercats Roar, 2019 to present. More Thundercats. This time, they are way too cartoony. Elliot from Earth, 2021. Elliot and his geologist mom find a rock. Turns out it's not a rock, but rather alien technology that transports them to another side of the universe where they board a spaceship and meet a dinosaur named Mo. The three of them get stranded on a planet. Fun time. The Fungies, 2021. The show takes place in prehistoric Fungi Town. Our main character is Seth, a young little mushroom who enjoys scientific adventures. Tig and Seek, 2021. Tiggy is an eight-year-old detective that goes on adventures with his cat, Gweeseek. They solve cases and retrieve lost items at the Department of Lost and Found. We Baby Bears, 2022 to present. It's a prequel to We Bear Bears. They're cubs now. The heroic quest of the valiant prince Ivando, 2023 to present. The young prince of the forest named Ivando is sent on a quest by his father, the mighty stag, to find the magical golden feather of the Eagle King. Ivando and his squire, Bert the Bluebird, embark on this quest and find many treasures along the way. Well, that was at least a hundred, right? Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, I have one of these, but on Nicktoons, where I go over every Nicktoon ever, but in slightly more detail than this one. Please hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and it would definitely help me a lot. Thank you.